Good day, guys. Um, over the past couple of weeks, I've been um, developing this little device. Now, um, basically, it's an electronic load bank. Um, it's got eight high power dissipation MOSFETs in there, and um, the MOSFETs would be actually um, acting as controlled loads or controlled resistors. Um, and the set point for their resistance would be set would be uh, would be actually set by an onboard microcontroller, which produces a reference for an op amp, which um, which regulates the uh, MOSFET gate um, to the desired to give us the desired resistance between the drain and the source. Anyway, um, the FETs I'm using have, have very high power dissipation, roughly about one kilowatt each, as you saw in the past video, one of my past videos. But um, today I'm just going to demonstrate how this load bank works. So basically over here we have a source um, of our power, which is a lithium polymer battery. Um, that will just come into the terminals. Um, over here I'll set a, um, a constant voltage, so it will cut out or stop discharging at that voltage. Uh, we have a constant current, so let's just leave that at 50 amps for now. Um, and we want to run uh, constant voltage, constant current mode because we don't want to over discharge the lipos and we don't want to push too far because I don't know what this load bank's capable of at the moment but I've tested it up to 50 amps and I know it works but anyway let's see um, let's see how it goes alright so now we have um, our LiPo battery being discharged into our load bank. Uh, as you can see, it's currently sitting at 23.1 volts or so, discharging at 50 amps, and our total power is 1.15 kilowatts. Um, I'll show you exactly what the current is using my clamp meter. Yeah, so as you can see, we're reading 450 amps on our LCD, and we're measuring 51 amps on our current on our clamp meter. Um, yeah, so you can see the water sort of bubbling off the off the back of the MOSFETs there. Um, at the moment, we've drawn one amp hour out of the battery and um, 24 watt hours. So this will give us an indication of the uh, quality, battery quality as well, because um, not only do you want to have good amp hours out of your battery, but you want to see good watt hours out of your battery too. And um, the higher the watt hours is an indication of how well your batteries holding up its voltage. If they drop voltage it means you're going to get a lot of watt hours. So this will this will really be a good indicator for uh, battery quality. Anyway as you can see we've got 35 watt hours in there so far. You can see the water it's about to boil soon. Yeah the water's sitting at you know 68 degrees or so 70 degrees. I'll just keep that going for now until the battery is discharged. It's a 5.8 amp hour Zippy compact battery. Um, it was fully charged before the test. So let's see how many amp hours we're going to get out of
check that out guys the water's boiling now that's at 3 amp hours and our water's boiling basically 60 or 70 watt hours pump 70 watt hours of energy in there and our water's boiling it's steaming Gonna put the lid on top. It's really boiling pretty, pretty hard now. Look at that. Four point two amp hours. Yep, battery's warm. Alright, as you can see, it's starting to drop current now um, because we're running constant voltage, constant current mode, and because our voltage set point has been reached, it'll start dropping the current to maintain the voltage. And because we're dropping current, we're also dropping power. So we're roughly at 26 amps, 27. All right, battery's basically dead now. Um, we're only getting 200 watts out of it, less now. Um, yeah, it's quite warm to probably say. Let's see what that is. Yeah, it's 50, 54 degrees. Um, and it did pretty good. We got 5.5 amp hours out of this battery, and it's a 5.8 amp hour battery, so not bad. Pretty good for a $70 pack. Thanks for watching, guys.